the mission strategy of Chandrayaan-3 from spacecraft injection till lunar orbit acquisition is similar to Chandrayaan-2. Propulsion module of Chandrayaan-3 will carry lander module up to approximately 100 by 100 kilometers lunar polar orbit. Subsequently, lander module will get separated from propulsion module at six days before landing. The new onboard functional verification strategy is adopted to assess the health and functional characterization of landing sensors and propulsion system during these six days. Also, Contingency communication link between lander module and Chandrayaan-2 orbiter will be tested during this phase. All the above assessments are newly introduced in Chandrayaan-3 for better characterization of critical systems before the actual powered descent starts. Day 6 is a buffer day. Powered descent starts at appropriate time on day 7. Before the start of powered descent phase, Orbit determination activity will be continuously carried out by utilizing JPL, ESA, ISRO ground stations and orbit models. The accurate orbit determination estimation is very essential to determine precise initial conditions of lander powered descent, which is one of the critical requirements to achieve safe and soft landing. Powered descent phase consists of four sub-phases, namely Rough Breaking Phase RB, Attitude Hold Phase AH, Fine Breaking Phase FB, Terminal Descent Phase TD, which is similar like Chandrayaan 2 except for phase durations and target milestones. All sensor electronics will be in ON condition prior to start of powered descent phase. However, Absolute sensors will be operated at the respective phases as per the powered descent plan. The filter will be updated by absolute sensors and the filter which in turn will be updating the inertial and local navigation at discrete intervals as per the descent plan. Inertial sensor will always be in closed loop with guidance and control throughout the descent phase. Rough braking phase will start from a nominal altitude of approximately 30 km with orbital velocity of approximately 1.68 km per second. A second order polynomial closed loop guidance law with pure inertial navigation is planned for this phase. No absolute sensor will be taken in loop during this phase. All four liquid engines will be operated at higher throttling level to reduce the horizontal velocity. Maximum downrange will be covered during this phase. Total duration of this phase will be approximately 690 seconds with a downrange of 713.5 kilometers. At the end of this phase, lander will be at an altitude of 7.4 kilometers and its attitude will have 50 degree pitch angle with respect to vertical. The expected vertical velocity and horizontal velocity at the end of rough braking is 61 meter per second and 358 meter per second respectively. At this moment, lander will be approximately 32 kilometers away from targeted landing site. Also, a constant check on vertical velocity will start from an altitude of 18 kilometer onwards. In case of any dispersion, Beyond design limits, emergency landing will be triggered which will invoke salvage guidance algorithm. Rough braking phase is followed by attitude hold phase which is planned for a nominal duration of 10 seconds. Guidance law in this phase runs in open loop with pure inertial navigation to decouple attitude control from guidance and maintains a constant 50 degree pitch angle throughout the phase for both altimeters to look at Nadir direction. Both altimeters, Kara and Lhasa, will be operated in this phase and altitude data will be taken into navigation filter. 
these sensors update will be enabled to the filter from 10 km altitude. At the end of this phase, navigation filter will update inertial navigation with altitude information. Altitude of lander is expected to be approximately 6.88 km. Lander module will be 28.5 km away from planned landing site. Guidance bound check will be done to see if given landing site is reachable or not. In case if it is reachable, lander will be targeted to the designated landing site. If not reachable, then real-time retargeting will be invoked to reach neighboring landing site. If the guidance states are much beyond the real-time retargeting limits, emergency landing will be invoked. During this process, if there is a valid altimeter update, then the lander will be targeted to an altitude of 800 meters. And in case there is no valid altimeter update from both the sensors, the targeted altitude will be increased to 1300 meter to cater for inertial navigation dispersion. A third order polynomial closed loop guidance law is planned for this phase with LIRA propagated inertial navigation. In case if there was no valid altimeter update in the previous phase, then one more update from filter LASA altimeter data will be planned at 35 seconds from start of this phase. LDV will provide information about three axis velocity with respect to moon surface from an altitude of 2.5 kilometers and below. Navigation filter will run in background and will get update from LDV. Inertial velocity will get corrected by update from filter to navigation at time to go off 39 seconds. At the end of this phase, lander module will be vertically above targeted landing site at an altitude of 800 or 1300 meter from local surface with zero velocities. Emergency landing logic will continuously monitor vertical velocity and salvage guidance will be invoked if dispersions goes beyond limit. Inertial navigation will be terminated and local navigation will be initiated to perform relative navigation with respect to local surface. Terminal descent will start from an altitude of 800 meters or 1300 meters. If all the requirements are met, two opposite liquid engines, one and three, will be shut off at the start of this phase. Lander module will hover above landing site for 12 seconds using PV guidance. LDV and CARA will be taken in loop to update height and velocity information to navigation filter. LASA and LHVC will operate in background as a redundant sensor to CARA and LDV. At the end of hovering, navigation filter will update navigation. Subsequently, lander module will descend vertically up to 150 meter local altitude using third order polynomial guidance law. During this phase, the local navigation states will be updated at discrete intervals by filter. At 150 meter, lander module will again hover for 22 seconds using PV guidance. CARA and LDV will be taken in loop to update height and velocity information to navigation filter. During this time, hazard detection camera LHDAC operation will be carried out to find safest location within 150 meter downrange for landing. The first preference will be given to the location just below lander, if it is safe. In this case, lander module will vertically descend to 10 meter above landing site. In case LHDAC finds different safe location, lander module will be retargeted above new landing site at an altitude of 60 meters with zero velocity. In retargeting phase, no absolute sensor update will be taken into the loop. From 60 meter, lander module will vertically descend to 10 meter altitude using third order polynomial guidance. During this phase, the local navigation states will be updated at discrete intervals by filter. LDV will stop updating below 30 meter and CARA will stop updating below 10 meter altitude. Filter will not be updating using any absolute sensor below 10 meters altitude. 
LIRA propagated inertial navigation will be used below 10 meter altitude. From 10 meter downwards, lander module will approach the lunar surface with constant velocity of 1 meter per second. At touchdown, contacts with sensors in lander leg will sense the touchdown and based on it, NGC will command to shut off all thrusters and engines. Throughout the descent phase, lander real-time telemetry data will be available in S-band. Apart from this, lander is also equipped with an X-band high-speed data transmission system, which will continuously send near real-time imaging, critical AUGS data and telemetry parameters to the Earth ground station. After landing, rover will roll down from lander and carry out scientific experiments with rover mobility on the lunar surface for continuously one lunar day. 